Alright guys, everything new under the sun here. Um, you know I uh, get lots of stories uh, and uh, try and bring them to you and try and relate them to Bible prophecy. And when I'm looking uh, for stories, I'm usually looking for something that's extraordinary. And, uh, you know, because I don't want to bring you just the, the plain old news, that you know, the, the stuff that's happening all the time that everybody knows about. But I'm finding uh, more and more is that almost every piece of news is uh, incredible and extraordinary and, uh, you know, something that is just, it's just crazy. Um, but we're bombarded with crazy news these days, and so the crazy news isn't crazy anymore. It's not extraordinary anymore. And uh, I just find that uh, you know, all the all the news is just like that. So it's it's, it's crazy. Um, this article is from uh, Zero Hedge. Zero Hedge is a really good site uh, for economic sorts of news. And uh, I thought it important to uh, bring to your attention. Um, <clears throat> if you watch other guys, and and uh, I've uh, talked about it too a bit. Um, you know, the Federal Reserve is looking to uh, raise the rates in December possibly, and uh, I think the the chairman or whatever the Federal Reserve um, was uh, hinting at uh, a rate increase and you know th you know threatening it and uh, so they're not really backing down from the rate increase um, but the IMF and and you know world bodies are basically saying no don't increase uh, rates you know the <clears throat> world is in a bad situation and uh, some people out there like Gregory Manorino thinks, uh, you know, maybe they're going to raise it by 25 basis basis points uh, just to save some face, say they did something. Um, but, and so we know they're going to have a meeting in December to uh, decide whether, you know, t to tell the world whether they're going to raise rates or not. Um, if, they're, if, if, if the rates are raised, that means the economy is doing good. If the rates are lowered or stay the same, that means the economy is doing uh, bad um, yeah, or doing worse than uh, bad, and we all know it's continuing uh, to be a, a very bad situation for the economy. So um, the the best bet is like the Federal Reserve is going to come out and say, uh, you know, no, we're not going to raise rates, um, or um, maybe best case scenario for them to save face, they're going to raise it by 25 basis points, which you know doesn't really make a difference here or there for anybody. Um, so we'll see what happens, but. Again, this piece of news was interesting because um, they're apparently they're going to hold a, a special meeting on Monday, Fed to hold an expedited closed meeting on Monday, given how awesome everything appears to be, and he's uh, tongue in cheek there, obviously. Um, judging by stocks and the tidal wave of Fed speak of the last week, confirming that rates are rising in December, we found it at least marginally odd that out of the blue. The Fed uh, would announce an expedited, expedited closed meeting Monday. And uh, so this is just a meeting out of the blue that they just all of a sudden scheduled for Monday. And you know, why, why would they do that? Advanced notice of a meeting under expedited procedures. It is anticipated that the closed, door, closed meeting of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System at 11.30 a.m. Monday, November the 23rd, will be held under expedited procedure as set forth in Section 26. LB7, whatever that is, um, uh, of the board's public uh, observation, r board's rules regarding the public observation of meetings, yada yada yada, and so on. Uh, matters to be considered review and determination by the board uh, of governors of the advance and discount rates to be charged by the Federal Reserve uh, banks. And I, I assume that means the plus or minus rates, whatever they are, you know, obviously they're not going to give away. Um, uh, which way they're going here, but interesting that there's a closed door meeting, and uh, you know it's a bit of an emergency meeting, and short notice, and you know that's not open to the public. And it says uh, below a final announcement of matters considered under expedited procedures will be available in the board's Freedom of Information and Public Affairs offices, and on the board's website following the closed meeting, and uh, and. Uh, Tyler Durden here of uh, Zero Hedge says, and we are sure to be told it's probably nothing. And we we are sure to be told it's sh it's probably nothing. Um, you know when those notes come out. Uh, and you know it's it's fascinating that they're holding a special meeting. Uh, what could it be about? Um, because you know all things like the uh, um, the shootings in in Paris, France, and, and things like that uh, should be pushing the stock markets lower. Uh, but in fact they went up. 
in this. Now, you know, it's just bizarre. You know, bad news uh, puts the stock market up. Good news puts the stock market down. Um, and part of the reason maybe they're playing that is because um, there's uh, direct uh, artificial manipulation. Um, another part is maybe people saying, uh, you know, if, if the news is bad enough, I'm going to get in the stock market now because the Federal Reserve is going to print a bunch of new money um, to make us all feel better. And, uh, and then the stock market would go up. Um, so that's kind of a bet on that side of things. Um, whereas in a normal uh, economy, bad news would mean, you know, lower uh, uh, markets, obviously. So, again, I just thought it was uh, important. Um, they're holding a, a special meeting uh, Monday, this uh, the 23rd here, and uh, we'll, we'll see if there's any hints as to what they're going to do. Um, but a lot of people are suggesting, you know, there's no re not going to be any real rate raise, um, and it'll be interesting. I just uh, renewed my mortgage, and um, I decided, uh, with my wife, obviously, I decided um, to, to lock it in for, for five years. Um, it's at 3% or, or something like that, uh, 2 point something. And uh, sure, I'll be saying, yeah, oh, shoulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda, if they, you know, go negative interest rates or something like that, or Canada further lowers, lowers interest rates. Um, but all things considered, you know, the, the 2 point whatever percent, 2.6 or 3 3 uh, percent, uh, in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's not, not a bad interest rate, and it's uh, something we can deal with uh, in general. Um, and there's, uh, you know, a bit of leeway there one way or another, depending on how well the economy goes and, and how well jobs are going and all that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, it's not a bad percentage to lock in at. And at least, you know, if there were going to be a massive rise, uh, which would be impossible, uh, then we, we would be sheltered from that for five years. Um, but, you know, any, any significant rate increase uh, effectively uh, will collapse the economy. And, and most... Um, most experts uh, in the field, um, you know, agree that uh, a significant inter incre increase in the interest rates will actually be the trigger to uh, to co to uh, collapse the economy. Um, and then you look at like wars and and, and the things that's, that are going on around there and potential fa false flag events. Uh, you know, there's uh, potential. There's apparently a, a guy on uh, Fox that said there was going to be a terrorist attack in the U.S. in the next two weeks. Um, so, you know, so will that happen? I don't know. Um, and, and maybe, uh, you know, Gerald Salente, he, he always says, you know, before the economy collapses, they'll lead you to war. You know, if the economy's uh, just on the brink of collapsing, um, they won't let it collapse. They're going to take you to war and then blame the collapse on the war or the war is going to prop up the economy more. So uh, it should be interesting to see what happens and uh, we, we shall wait and see. And uh, I'll uh, just going to going to get to work on my uh, prophecy update for Sunday here and uh, but this was important news and uh, so I'll try and try and get some more stuff in here for you